Howdy folks, how's it going? Gabriel here. Aloha from Hawaii. So this video is going to be a little bit off topic for what I usually post, which is uh, travel videos. Um, it is going to be about how to speed up your PC computer in four free easy steps. All right, so uh, the first and most obvious uh, way to declutter your uh, computer and hopefully speed things up is to simply erase as much stuff as you can that you don't need. Create more room on your hard drive um, so that your computer uh, has more um, places to put things and um, more free space to work with. So that's the first thing, just go through all your files. If you have, you know, um, all your photos and videos, for example, from previous years, go through them all and filter through them and delete a bunch of pictures. You know, you might have five pictures of kind of the same thing. Um, delete four of them and keep the best one. Go through and delete the videos that you aren't actually, you know, likely to ever use again and just keep the ones that you um, are uh, maybe going to use at some time or want to keep for memory's sake or whatever. You get the idea. Go through your computer, uh, erase everything you possibly can. And then step two is to, first of all, just uh, empty your recycle bin. So most people, I assume, know about that. There's a recycle bin, you right click on it, and then you can empty everything. But um, in addition to that, then I recommend doing something uh, that is a more thorough cleaning, and it's making use of a program such as, and there might be other uh, comparable programs out there, CC Cleaner. So here it is right there. You can download it for free from uh, the internet. One of the things that will do is it automatically empties the trash for you. But what it also does is it goes through and it deletes various files that have been put on your computer as a result of using the internet. So cookies, um, and I don't really know what else they are, but, but uh, whatever the technical term is for the various different little files that end up on your computer as a result of visiting various websites, um, then stuff gets put on your computer. And I've uh, done that process and had things speed up considerably right away just as a result of doing that. So download CC Cleaner, or, or maybe you got a um, you know, similar type of program that will do the same thing, and uh, that will give it a nice little scrub. Now the third thing to do is defragment your hard drive. So I'm gonna go down here to the uh, start, and then, well here I have it already because I did it recently, it's right, right there ready to go, but also you can go to all programs, and of course it may differ depending on uh, you know what uh, operating system you're running on. And you're gonna go to Accessories, System Tools, Disk Defragmenter. You pull that up. Now one thing is that uh, on my computer at least, it recommends that you have at least 15% of your um, hard drive space available. As you can see, I have exactly 15% at the moment uh, in order to do a satisfactory uh, disk defragmentation. And what that does is that the computer, in the course of putting various files onto your hard drive, then for whatever reason, it, it, um, it places them around kind of randomly. It doesn't put them in a nice little neat row and then leave a nice big chunk of empty space. It puts them here and there, and as your hard drive gets uh, filled up, then you um, end up with your free uh, space being scattered around the, the, the hard drive. And so the hard drive has to search longer to try to find the empty spaces to be able to put new files. So the disk defragmenter um, puts associated files next to each other in such a way that there are lar larger blocks of uh, memory space available for your hard drive to work with. And so, you know, basically the point is it, it speeds up your computer. So uh, that's what matters. Now, tip number four is uh, the disk cleanup, and that is under the same thing here. All programs, accessories, system tools, disk cleanup. And what that does is it goes through and it compresses files that aren't used very much, um, and that also creates more uh, hard drive space and frees up um, space on your computer in the process and thus can help uh, speed up your uh, hard drive in your computer. So some of these, um, such as the disk defragmentation, I'm not sure that that is necessarily relevant for the newer computers because I've 
come across some that do that regularly um, on a weekly basis uh, automatically. And so I don't know if that's necessarily relevant. You know, here my info is uh, a little bit outdated because I'm working on XP here. But anyways, those are some ideas that are definitely worth a try. Um, if anyone has further suggestions, then uh, definitely write them in the comments below. I will be curious to take a look, as will other viewers. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Aloha.